completely reflective just a couple, you know, less than 24 hours after the season ends. But yeah. as you look back at your, your rookie season, what, what were some of the biggest takeaways for you? Um, it was great, in my opinion, just from a growing standpoint. Um, you know, just learning, you know, more concepts of, you know, defensively, offensively, and just building a better connection with the team. Um, obviously, I thought it was a great season um, winning-wise. Um, you know, we obviously wanted to go farther, but same with Osceola, but, you know, and we both lost to Cleveland, which was weird. So yeah, it's all right that we did had a good season. Jet, what's it like to be a part of an organization that that has this run? You know, that goes to goes to the playoffs and gets to a game seven. I mean, what's it like to be to be a part of that and, and go through that your first year? It was crazy. It felt like a surreal dream. It was crazy um, to go to a game seven in our first year. I was just talking about it with AB. Um, we were blessed, and just to see that environment was kind of cool and. Um, it felt like 2K, to be honest with you. <laughs> Coach mentioned that one of the areas that the team is looking to improve on this offseason is shooting, you know, and obviously you came in and have, you know, worked on your shot in, in yeah. Osceola. How much do you look forward to possibly being part of that solution? Uh, I really look forward to it. Um, that's something I've always been able to do. Um, and uh, just having him trust in me to take those shots would be, would be great. Um, and uh, he does. And I... Uh, you know, I think we got a lot of great shooters from me, Caleb, um, Gary, Joe. Like, um, it's just a matter of taking them. You know, I feel everyone can really shoot in that locker room. So, yeah. People talk about over the course of the rookie year, the game's starting to slow down. As you got more and more reps, whether it be in Osceola or in, in short stints with the Magic, you know, did, did you feel that the game's starting to slow down in a sense? Uh, yeah, um, more with Osceola. Um, just breaking down film with Dylan every day and um, obviously playing a lot. Um, I felt like it was probably the right decision for me to go down there and um, learn and grow every other day. So um, it definitely slowed down for me. Um, obviously, growing older um, helps with that too. But yeah, I, I definitely slowed down. What do you see for your off season? What would, where do you want to get better? Where do you want to kind of grow from? Defense, <laughs> that's it. Um, defense and making open shots, pretty much that's it. Um, and buying into whatever they want me to do. Um, that's probably my biggest focus. How much do you think your defense has improved this season being around such a you know defensive-minded team? This is probably the best defensive team I've ever seen um, and been around. Um, just from, I'm, I know I'm biased, but I really feel like that. And uh, everyone can guard one through five. And it's kind of infectious when you're around it all the time. And I think I've grown tremendously because um, Osceola teaches the same exact stuff that, um, and it has the same exact schemes that we have up here. So um, I think I've grown tremendously. We've seen Magic rookies make tremendous jumps in year two, whether it be Paulo, Franz, Jalen. Yeah. You know, how much can what you've learned over the course of the season be applied this off season for you to make a, a jump going into your second season? Um, you know, I. I Definitely heard that recipe before. Um, just staying in here, you know, pretty much the whole summer. I don't really plan on going anywhere. Um, and I'm just learning and, and I'm being around the coaches all the time and just uh, getting more knowledge. Uh, so, yeah, I think that would play a big part in it. When you talked with Jeff earlier, was there any talk about possibly playing in Las Vegas for summer league? I didn't talk to him yet, but um, hopefully I want to play in summer league. Yeah. How difficult is it to try to? crack playing time in Orlando when you look at the roster and know this is a playoff team? Uh, I didn't really get that much thought, you know, because, you know, my whole life I've been playing and uh, until I got to this this team, it was like, all right, well, um, there's a lot of guy, good guys on the team, um, as y'all can see, as we made this big run. Um, and, uh, you know, it was kind of it was kind of good to be around that because, you know, you kind of got out your comfort zone a little bit um, and it uh, made me better. And, um, you know, I wouldn't ask for a different rookie season, honestly, to be real. Was it, were you given any piece of advice or anything to how to handle kind of going through the process uh, with, the, with, the, with the league and then getting in some opportunities with the Magic? I mean, to be honest with you, my dad, he played a big part in it, um, just um, telling me to stick with it. And, you know, this is like the trend of how, you know, it goes now in the NBA. Um, and, uh, you know, just buy into that and, and don't get, you know, in your feelings about this or that and just stay on the course and stay on the process. Yeah. Thanks, Jay. No Thanks, Jay. Appreciate you. Have a good one.